What's up, YouTube? Ken Phil here. If you're new, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a like on the video. Today, we're going to talk about how to reach 500 GOAT games fast if you are on a legend grind like myself. I have reached the 500 games. I probably did this like a week ago, the 500 GOAT games. So, this video is about helping you guys get to those 500 GOAT games fast. All right, I'm going to tell you guys what you got to do to get it fast. As you can see, I do have this star right underneath my 40 that because I have completed the 500 GOAT games. Now, you ain't seen it just yet. There it is right there. The, the star right underneath my level 40. I did complete the 500 GOAT games. I probably did this like a week ago. I was going to bring you guys a video, but I didn't know if you guys would be interested, all right, in this video. I think some of you guys will rock with it. You know what I mean? If you're on that legend grind. Or if you just want to get the 500 gold games just to get the star, man, underneath your level 40. I'm going to go ahead and get into what you got to do, though, man. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you right here that I do got the level, uh, I mean, the 500 games right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you Legend Prize. See, you got the 500 gold games at goat level. Got the star underneath my level 40. You know if you get the four stars, you will be a legend. That's what I'm grinding for. All right. Now I'm about to show you guys right here. This is how many how many games I spent in each tier. All right, casual, hooper, baller, pro. This, as you can see, this 59, 45, 39, and 73, and then the 500 goat game. Now I will say that when you make a new player, this these numbers start to go up, right? Because you start back at casual. So I made another player. I made a couple more players. So actually, I spent less time. In the casual less time in the hooper less time in the baller less time in the pro i'm about to show you that in just a second because you can see this is five this is a 59 casual 45 hooper okay 39 baller 73 pro i spent way less than this before i got to the goat games before i made a player and this right here is a screenshot right here look 43 in the casual 33 in the hooper 21 in the baller 65 in the pro now, if we do quick math on that, how many games is that? That's like 162 games. It took me 162 games before I got to the GOAT level, okay? Before I got to the GOAT level, it took me 162 games. So, you can do this real easy, guys. Now, I'm going to show you guys my updated win percentage and all that type of stuff, 3 per percent. Y'all can look at that while I'm talking to you guys about what you need to do. All right, to get these 500 GOAT games... First thing first, ask yourself, do you want to be a stretch or do you want to be a guard? All right. And once you get that figured out, you can go make the 611 two-way stretch file like I have. If you want to take my route, it's on my YouTube channel if you want it. All right. So once you make the 611 two-way stretch file, the next thing you got to do is get your good teammate who's either 6'8 or 6'9. All right. They also got defense on their build. And the third thing you're going to have to do is head to the twos court and just play, get some chemistry. Now, me and my partner that I've been playing with, Thule, we both had 90 win percentages. He still got his 90 win percentage. Unfortunately, I got an 84 because I've been playing threes and people have been selling me out, okay? People have been selling me on this game. People not good and they claim they good. People claim they good lockdowns and all that type of stuff and can't even get a stop, all right? People claim they good and I've been believing them and I go out and get on the 3v3 court and they're selling me. All right, they just be selling so hard. Like last night, I played with a guard. He going 0 for 4 on the three-point line, running and fading at 6-3. People just be selling. But that's another story. But, yeah, I had a 90 win percentage playing with my boy Thule here. We had, like, 95 win percentage. He's still in the 90s, I believe. Now, I'm about to show you guys what we be doing. This is what you need to do to hit 500 GOAT games really, really fast, man. You got to play twos. Twos is the way. Don't talk about no wreck. Don't talk about no 3v3. You're not going to get 500 GOAT games fast playing in a wreck or 3v3. Twos is the best way. Twos is the best way because you got to get good teammate grade. You got to get them A's and stuff like that. It adds up. It counts up, guys. All right? It counts up. You got to be playing well. Got to be doing what you're supposed to do. Try to limit turnovers and all that. It's just easy. Once you come on the tools and you got a stretch or you're a guard at that point y'all just got to get some chemistry and you got to start winning games now right here 
my boys right here, the OTG boys, they told us to pull up, all right? They wanted to play against some comp, so we're here to show them what comp all about, all right? Now, you can see he took the first shot, and he missed. He missed, and then unfortunately, on the twos, if you made one mistake, the game can be over against somebody like me and Tuli because we don't make that many mistakes on the twos. Now, he ice on him. Now, he did make a mistake, right? When you do make a mistake on the tools, you want to be able to play defense. Tuli was able to get that stop because he got a 6'8 or a 6'9 with interior defense. Look, he dunking the ball like crazy. These 6'8 and 6'9s are unstoppable. Okay, they're unstoppable in the park. He has that, and I got my 6'11 stretch. I'm unstoppable as well, okay? Now, giving it to Tuli, we usually run an ISO, and I go stand in the corner or I stand on the hash. But... This stretch is not a cone by any means. This is not a cone stretch. This stretch can get active. I'm going to show you guys that in a, some gameplay. I'm going to show you later that I do go get my buckets too sometimes by myself. But right here in comp like this, I'm playing it cool. You can see I'm cutting back door. I play it cool and let my 6'8", 6'9", teammate Tuli right here do his thing. He's probably the best guard. He's the best guard I done played with on NBA 2K23. This is no cap. He the best guard I done played with. But that's why me and him both had 90 plus win percentage on the two when we were playing when the game first came out because he just know what he doing, all right? He know how to get a bucket. He know how to score. He know when to pass the ball to his stretch big man, all right? And me, of course, one of the most chickenish stretch on the game, all right? You leave me open, you, hey, the game is over. That's all I'm going to say. Leave me up. Like you see, I'm getting a bucket right here. I told you this is not a cone stretch. This stretch got a little ball handle. You can go get a little bucket. You can go get a quick bucket off the catch because you get a little fast speed boost. You can get active. You don't have to just stand in the corner with this stretch. You can see the game is 15-0. This is how we be eliminate our opponent so fast on the tools, all right? With this method we running, this ISO and this stretch, look at me. Wide open. You already know this green. Look how I step into it, all right? Look how I step into it. You leave me open, the game is over. I'm telling you right now, you leave me open, the game is over. And just look at Thule, man. Thule is an ISO demon, man. You know how to get to that, get to that realm, man, and get a bucket. 20 to zero, as you can see, it's real easy for us on the tools. 20 to zero. Let me do the honors, all right, King Green. Let me do the honors to end the game. Hey. That's how easy it is. I got some more gameplay for you guys. Let's get into the next game. We do this all the time, man. We do this all the time on the tools. We don't be losing on these tools. I'm telling you. We know what's going on on the tools. You can see he's wide open. He's not missing. He got an 83 pointer, 83 ball on his 6'8, 6'9. He don't miss. I don't be missing. It's hard to beat us, okay? If we missing, something is wrong. I can see I'm taking this. Look, the stretch, the 611 stretch is a monster. I'm going to the paint, dunking the ball like crazy, okay? I be dunking the ball like a slasher. Look at this. I don't even see him on my 611 stretch. I don't even see him. He a baby to me. It's so easy on these tools. I'm telling you, I kick it back to Thule. Look at this. They ain't going to be able to stop him. Look, behind the back dunk, he's doing what he want to do. He doing what he want to do out here. I'm doing what I want to do. It's hard to stop people on the twos that just doing whatever. I can do it all. He can do it all. Defense, offense, don't matter. He pulling from the top of the key. Green, his jump shot is wet. My jump shot is wet. I'm telling you guys. You got to want to get 500 GOAT games fast. You got to play like us, okay? You got to shoot like him. You got to shoot like me. ISO like him. Go get buckets like him. Go get buckets like me. This is what you got to do on these tools, man. You got to go crazy on these tools. And make sure you be patient. Look at me. I'm wild open. You know that's cash. Make sure you be patient on these tools. The game will come to you. Make sure you be really, really patient on the tools. The tools is a game of patience. Whoever had the most patience on the tools is going to win. I can promise you that. I've been playing tools for a long time. Every 2K, I be playing tools. Now, you can see he missed. Once your teammate do miss, you got to make sure you have bills that got great defense. Now, my bill got good defense, meaning that on my 6'11 stretch, I can guard ISO. If you put me in an ISO, I can guard you on my 6'11 stretch. Trust me, guys. I do this all the time. Thule Bill, his 6'8", 6'9". You see, he got the lock takeover. He got a lock takeover. You can see in team tape. So, he can guard the ball. He can guard the ball like I can guard the ball. He gets the block. Now, we get the ball 
right back. That's what you want. You want builds that can play defense and offense. You defense is very important on the tools because if you can't get a stop, you're not going to be able to win on the tools. You got to make builds that got defense. All right. Our builds defense and offense. You can see pulling from D. He got the limitless take on. He got the lockdown take on. Eight game win streak. I told you we'd really be doing this. That what you got to do, man. This is what you got to do if you want the 500 goat game fast. And I put this in here. To let you know that my stretch is active. He's not a cone. I know you guys have seen so far that he's not a cone. People always talk about a stretch is a cone. This stretch is not a cone. The 611 2 way stretch 5 is not a cone. You can go get your own bucket if you want to. All right, you can go get your own bucket. If you want to be a cone, you got the option to do that as well. You can just stand in the corner. But me, I stand in the corner sometimes, and sometimes I, I get a bucket. Sometimes I, I take the ball, get a bucket, man. You can do the same thing. Go make my 611 stretch five. My 611 two way stretch five is a demon. Go make them, man. Go make them. Now, for a 6869, if you want to be a guard, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of YouTube videos on a 6869 guard if you want to do that. I'll probably be bringing that to my channel really soon. Probably the next video, I'll probably get you guys a 6869 type of guard build because they are running 2K. All right, it's just my boy Thule right here. He had his early. He had a 6869 when the game first came out. He had already told me before the game came out. He said, Hey, I'm not going to be no 61, 62, 63 little guard who ain't got no defense. All right, if you 61, 62, 63, you're not, that's not for the twos. Don't bring that to the twos. You are going to get bullied by the 6869 on the 2v2. I'm telling you this right now. Somebody like Thule right here, my teammate. He's gonna bully you if you got if you come out here with a six foot six one six two six three. He's gonna bully you all day long on the twos. You're gonna be so upset. You're not gonna be able to stop him. You're gonna be dunking the ball on your head. Ain't nothing you're gonna be able to do. And you think that center gonna save you? That setting screens. You think y'all you gonna come out here with a six one and got an inside center that setting screens against me and Thule? Once we get a stop on y'all, because we will get a stop. The game gonna be over. Y'all not gonna be able to get a stop because the six one not gonna have no defense. All right. So for the tools, make sure you got the right tools build before you hop on the tools, man. You gotta go six eight six nine at guard stretch. You can go six eight six nine six ten six eleven. Me, I'm just different. I got that six eleven demon, man. You can go whatever you want to go with me. I just want to be different, man. Everybody got the six eights and the six nines. You can see I'm missing right here a couple of shots, man don't matter because we got defense it's 12 to zero i put this in here to show you guys that you can miss a couple of shots but you do almost got to go perfect every time on the tools to win if you don't go perfect you got to play some good defense all right you got to play great defense if you're not going perfect on the tools i put this in here to show you guys that nobody is perfect everybody gonna miss a shot all right, everybody gonna get a turnover, but you can see he leave me wide open. That's not good to do when I'm in takeover. All right, the shot will be water. I put this gameplay in here to show you guys. You can miss on the twos. You can make mistakes, but you have to play defense and get the ball back. Look, he missing, I'm missing. But one thing we doing is playing defense. Look at the defense. Look at the defense right here. All right, now he get two points. Y'all do know that the paint defense is trash in 2K23. It is some paint defense, but it's not good. People can still lay the ball up over you while you got your hands up. Look at me. I'm 6'11". I could have stood there with my hands up, and he could just lay the ball up. The defense is not good on this game in the paint. It's okay. You can play some defense, but it's not, you know, it's not what it should be. Even with an anchor, de uh, anchor defensive bat, it still don't matter. I tried it. I have another build. I got a 7-foot popper. He got anchor on Hall of Fame. They still can lay the ball up on you if you don't jump, okay? You got to jump. You got to get in position. You got to jump. I'm, I'm going to talk about that in another video. I got so many videos that I'm going to bring for you guys, but right now we focus on how to get these 500 GOAT games. You got to get on the twos, all right? You got to go 6, 8, 6, 9 guard and go whatever stretch you would like. Y'all got to come out here. got to go crazy. See, we went 10 for 14. We still got the job done because we played great defense. That's how I got my 500 GOAT games. Playing tools, man. It's just coming out here in the park, grinding it out. That what you guys gotta do. Do what you gotta do to get them 500 goat games if you grinding for legend, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. The king out, man.